Okay, so today, let's see, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go through how to import new brushes in Fire Alpaca. Um, I'm on a Mac, so which I found is a lot harder to use with these types of programs. So as soon as I figured it out, I figured I would make some kind of video about it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, I've just got my blank canvas here, yeah. Um, so if you go to this, you have to make sure that you've got um, this checked so that you can have this toolbar. You have to click not this one, which I made that mistake a couple of times, not the new brush, but the new bitmap uh, button. And then I downloaded a big pack of brushes from someone on DeviantArt, so I'll source that in the video description. Um, but So this is the pack that I downloaded. And I haven't imported all of these yet, of course, um, but... I'm just going to say soft edge brush. Let's import this. All right, so I, for some reason, it always sets it to like be way too spaced out, so I always bring the spacing down a lot. Um, and you can change your width and stuff. For the most part, the width's usually okay. It's just the spacing that gets messed up. Um, you can rename it. so it doesn't have a bunch of numbers after it. So, wait, what is that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that is not something I had seen before, so. Okay, so, All right, and you can mess around with the settings here. Um, anyway, so that's how you do that. Um, if you, I, this video is so disorganized. But if you, um, this is where I got the brushes. So when you download something, if you go to, you click this, and I'll just do it again, it'll come up right there. And then when you click on that, unless you have your settings changed on your computer, it should just come up in your downloads folder. Um, so yeah, that's useful. Alright, so if you have any questions, I'll probably be able to answer them, except I can't guarantee anything because I'm still pretty new to this too. Um, but it is a lot harder to work with these types of programs on Mac since a lot of digital art programs are Windows-based. So, yep. Alright, so that's that.